Hello and welcome to Leonard Brothers Game. I'm David. I'm John. And we're playing a little Typing of the Dead. We have switched to the Dreamcast instead of the Saturn. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous episode about Knights was that when I went to change the date, the limit on the year was 2099. I couldn't go any further than 2099. Typing of the Arcade mode sounds good. Right? Arcade mode, yeah. Probably good enough. Yeah. Uh, that at least give you a certain amount. So this is, instead of normal um, uh, House of the, of the Dead, where you'd have a light gun or the controller to, um, you'd probably just do story mode straight up. You can type. This, this is actually, you know, teaching you how to type in a fun and entertaining way. John's on the keyboard now instead of the uh, controller. Cause... And the funny thing about this version is that there are Dreamcasts strapped to their backs with keyboards in front instead of guns. See, in this cutscene here. When it enters the key to skip the key. They're meeting G there over go. there. And type. And the way it works is that, you know, whatever you're looking at, um, when you start typing something is the thing you're first focused on, and you have to finish that sentence or that phrase before you can move on to something else. On E3, and it's entirely E3. random, too. I don't think you have to do a, a shift key. You don't have to do a... You know, I, 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 I looked down, like, oh yeah, RB. Fine. Yeah, it, it doesn't really care about uh, capitalizing or spaces. I think it automatically fills those in for you. But there's also a new version of this, which uh, Two Saiyans play recently did, the House of the Dead Overkill, which took that version of the game, Overkill, and, and made it typing of Overkill, typing of the dead. And apparently that one, uh, later levels include um, profanity and other vulgarities you have to type in, too. So necessarily, as, as our, you know... Uh, Gameplay would, family uh, friendly. Family friendly would frown upon a game like that, but I don't think this version of the game has any of that. It's just a bunch of um, random words with swap. I don't know what that is, but um, I want to die. Well, too late. You couldn't save it in time. F would give you. A, yeah, I think you did get it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know whether you got it or not, but um. Anyways, if we had two uh, keyboards, we would both be playing at the same time. That would probably mess us up because, as we noticed in the other playthrough, um, we could both be starting to type in the same word. Like, okay, you just call out which word you're going to type. Otherwise, you're just going to throw everything off. And the Game Grumps played this one too, didn't they? Uh, zero. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. You. I, I don't think they use any numbers. They add numbers they earlier. Add numbers? Oh, okay. Uh, if, if they have an O, oh, it will have a slash through it uh -huh. to indicate that it's actually a zero. And, uh, blood stains. E. Because you can type it, it's and, cool. And this is actually one of the games I was thinking about introducing maybe to Dad, because it was like he can he can type, you know, it was like it doesn't take that much effort. Ah, uh, yeah, it was face. face. Yeah. You only have two hit points left. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm right, right, so Oh, you were typing the other it. thing, you had to finish yeah, the okay. other sentence, so continue. Remember, yes. once you type something, same genre words. Oh boy. Unfortunately, there's not enough uh, memory uh, available on this memory card, so whatever progress we do make, once again, will not be saved. But this is more just for demonstration purposes, you know, for people who haven't seen this kind of game. There's also one which I don't know if we'll get to. Uh, maybe we will. It's called Typing of the Date. You know how there's a lot of dating simulators in Japan, and this, and this one in particular. Uh, fortunately, you can set the keyboard to use uh, tip, uh, traditional um, romanized letters instead of the hiragana or katakana or any you know, kanji that uh, typical Japanese uh, le lettering would use. I mean, we actually have uh, a Sony Vio desktop, which you didn't know Vios were desktops, but it was like an all-in-one, kind of like a iMac style, but um, it had a Japanese keyboard. And it was like actually originally a Japanese oh. unit. I, Found it at a, at a thrift store and figured, hey, why not let's buy this? Because I haven't seen a Japanese computer in town before, ever. And it's not very good. It only has like less than 256 meg of memory. And I think it's got like a 10, 15 gig hard drive in it. But it had Windows XP and it was all in Japanese. I'm like, okay, this is not helpful. Let's replace this. Type, see those words. You'll be spotted. But anyways, um, the way typing of the date works is that it's a combination dating simulator and typing tutor. So if you have the proper letters, 
I can at least tell what I'm trying to spell, but I still don't know what it says because it's still in Japanese. So you have this uh, section where you're like, you know, sitting at a coffee shop with her and you're trying to say the right thing, but you don't know what the right thing is and you also have a time limit. <coughs> so whatever you decide to type in, you better do it fast. And you obviously need to know what's the right answer in order to continue the relationship because you may type in something properly, but if it's the wrong thing to say, she'll slap you and then the date is over. Just like real life. Just like real life, yeah. <laughs> I can speak very eloquently, but if I say the wrong thing, well, it didn't really matter, did it? Nope. True that. Man of the world. Like, once you get to the, this section where they actually start giving you complete sentences instead of just letters and, and words and individual, you know, phrases. This where it actually gets uh, very difficult. Don't be dead on arrival, Joan. Pressure cooker. Ugh, feels like a lot of pressure, doesn't it? Well, the problem, too, is that I'm, you know, typing it's on, on your the lap. keyboard on yeah. my lap. Yeah, if you had a proper desk, desk or tail, yeah, yeah. And, and it's, it's particularly it, the Dreamcast keyboard. So, um, I don't know if, if it's been, you know, because we bought it used in the first place. Whether all the keys work, we never really tested that, but I'm sure they, they're probably sure they're working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's an issue of whether the keys may be old enough or stick and kind of thing. It's unfortunate. I mean, there are people who actually have modded the Dreamcast to support SD cards, to support USB keyboards, which... Name entry, AC mode. Yeah, I guess. Sure. Yeah. There you go. Just like any old other game. Of course, the controller I've got on here uh, has the microphone from Seaman on it. And if you're ever familiar with Seaman, there's supposed to be a sequel coming out, which I'm very intrigued by. If they put it on, say, like, the Kinect or the PS4 kind of thing with the PlayStation Eye, and, like, the, uh, it could actually, um... Dogs of the the, the creature could look back at you and some of that, and you'd have, like, you know, conversations. Like, it could follow you on screen as you're walking around your TV. It could, like, look at you because you're looking at the... He's close enough to it, you know? I mean, that would be a very interesting adaptation of the original game. The concept was you have this little egg... And you'd grow, and it was actually narrated by... Uh, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And and once you got the fish old enough, he would actually ask you various questions, and a lot of personal questions, a lot of, you know, random crazy stuff, you know. And I could never get the uh, the, the sea man old enough. It would, it, I would run out of food or other resources and stuff like that, and it would end up dying before it could really uh, have good, decent conversations with it. And it's also based on time, too. And, of course, if you hadn't turned on your Dreamcast in a while, it would lose what the time is, and so you'd have to set up from scratch again. And then you might, you know, come back in at the wrong time, and be like, okay, how long ago has it been since I played this? And your creature's dead. It's like coming in on um, Animal Crossing after, like, years and years, and the whole place is covered in weeds, and everyone comes like, where have you been? We've missed you, player! Speaking of Animal Crossing, I've got like two new posters from Club Nintendo that I've yet to hang up. That one of them has every single Animal Crossing character that's, uh, oh, that can yes. be created. Yeah, I, thought I saw that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's over there on the, on the piano there. A piano. We have a piano. Yeah, a blue piano that was 25 bucks. There, we can tell that story. Oh boy. <laughs> we went to um, flea market, not too far. Well, it was like less than a mile. Yeah, about a mile. About a mile. Yeah, so away from our house. And so we saw this really cheap piano that was way out of tune, but at least all the keys worked. And we figured at some point we'll find a way to tune it properly. And we'll have a really, you know, for 20, 25 bucks or whatever, that was a good deal for a mostly working piano, you know? And so we were trying to get it out of the, uh, the, the thrift store. And so, you know, we came back with uh, rolling carts. We bought rolling carts, which just lead up to another funny story. Uh, in order to move our washer and dryer into our new house, uh, we you know, went to Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two, and they had these uh, furniture carts. And and um, they're they're meant for indoor use, but we rolled, we we had the, the carts and the bungee cords, and we attached our one one washer to one and the dryer to the other, and we rolled down the street from our mom's house to our current house. 
because we bought them from her and we we're like well how are we going to get these without a truck or without a, uh, any kind of SUV or anything you know something that could actually carry this uh we'll just roll it down by hand <laughs> and people just staring at us rolling down the washer and dryer down the street like hi and we did the same thing when we when we went with the uh we brought two rolling carts and we attached the the same jumper, you know, same, you know, bungee cords on. And they're like, well, where's your truck? And like, we, we don't need a truck. Like, well, you're going to roll this down the street? Are you kidding me? And it's like, no, no, not kidding. We're, we're going to, so we rolled it down and uh, got to the intersection. And, and, and it started falling, the cart, it started falling off the cart. And so, well, it was really like, muddy too. That it was really muddy matters. and difficult. And so we were just trying to, you know, push it through as, wasn't very good. as quickly as possible. And the light was about to change. We're like, push faster. It's falling off the cart. Push faster. And some people were just staring at us like, hi! We are just nonchalantly rolling a piano down the street, you know? Very bright blue. Very light, bright blue piano. And once we finally got in here, it sat in the garage for a while until we finally moved it into our gaming room, and it's sitting beside us. Just still out of tune. Still don't know how to play it, and still don't know how to tune it. But maybe someday. Maybe. But anyways, yeah, I mean, one... Other benefit, at least, the Dreamcast is by far my, my favorite of uh, previous gen consoles because it was the underdog, it was the underrated one, it was uh, Sega's last ditch effort to revive itself from the failures of the Sega CD, the 32X, and the Sega Saturn, and it worked. It was actually had a lot of good games, but by then, they had so many mistakes and so many failures, so many issues with the public that they just gave up on them. Even though they had Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 and Typing of the Dead and, and Seaman and all the kinds of other, you know, fantastic games, original, unique content that they're willing to, you know, take risks on and make these new concepts. Ooh, frappe. Really, with those at work. Yeah. Anyways, um, the system still failed, and it's a terrible shame. That's, um, you couldn't get the uh, publicity and stuff that needed, especially games like Shenmue which were millions and millions of dollars in like motion capture and acting and storyline and all kinds of other crazy things that was supposed to be like I think six or eight parts. They only released two. And even the second one for the Dreamcast was only released uh, outside the US even though it had uh, English dub on it. Or no, it had English subtitles and it had a uh, like Korean audio I think. It was one of the two. Anyways, it was eventually ported over to the original Xbox and apparently English dub in that is very bad. A lot of people are like not happy with the uh, the way that they dubbed the characters. Apparently they chose different actors than the original and they, they didn't do the game justice. And a lot of people just, you know, would prefer to choose the Japanese audio with English subtitles. Because it just wasn't the same. And neither game sold well enough and they put so much money into it and the fact that they got a second chance. A lot of people want a Shenmue 3. And there was even a suggestion of a Shenmue Online that's supposed to be an MMO where, like, you know, this ever-growing world of, uh, of the environment of this, you know... It's supposed to be, like, 80s Japan. So, like, they had, like, these vending machines, they had a bunch of arcade units. You can actually play in the game OutRun and a couple other uh, classic 80s um, Sega arcade games, which is very interesting. Kind of reminded me of... Um, the way that with Animal Crossing they had the NES games. They don't. That's the only reason I like the original uh, Animal Crossing, because they had, especially the unlockable ones. If you had um, the game, the action replay, you could unlock uh, Super Mario Brothers and Legend of Zelda and other, you know, more legendary classic NES games. That you know they were in the code, but for some reason there was no way to unlock them without cheating, which is a terrible shame. You know, you bought the game. And this yeah. content is simply unavailable to you without, you know, hacking into it, pretty much. I wonder if you have enough continues to keep going. I guess you have two credits left. Okay. That's one fortunate thing. If, if we were both playing and we both died, we'd both be using up for the same line of credits. So that might not be as helpful, especially with my typing ability. You've had more typing classes than I have. Well, also, the, key the keyboard isn't really that responsive, too. It's... Yeah. And also, there's sections where you can't type because they block it out on you. It's like, you have one more chance to beat it. Two words before he hits you. Okay, good. On all fours. 
At least it's easier. <laughs> yeah, that part's like. Yeah. Have you noticed if it requires you to do capitalizing or anything? No. No. No, nope. no capitalizing, no spaces. No spaces. Okay. There are uh, uh, a punctuation and numbers. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, in essence, I don't think you can really properly learn. Well, completely, no. Completely, you know. I mean, hopefully the uh, the putting in space and stuff wouldn't, like, you know, adversely affect it. So you can actually, you know, It would just try ignore it. it. So, you would just yeah. ignore it or make it more difficult for you to try to, you know, reason and try to throw that in together. I think this is the end of the uh, first level. Pretty sure. Yeah. My keyboard has saved the day! I am, this, is, this, was, this was the second level. Second level? Yeah. Oh, second level, okay. We're already in uh, 16 minutes in here, so... Uh, until next hey, time. 90% accuracy. I'd say it's pretty good. Very nice. Yeah. Anyways, until next time, happy gaming. <laughs>